Yeah, again, it's it's much more of a delicate game from teams. There's one. Do we have a blood grenade or anything here? Mirror collapse. Finally, get first blood. I, I really wonder what the um the conversation was about this primal beast versus slaughter going mid or going off lane was. Malady not going to get the wisdom room steal. Mirror there, right on time. Oh, bypasses them. <laughs> Slides through the trees. I think Malady's still going to get found here as Collapse has joined. I'm looking for the pickoff. I'm going to make them work for it. Delay the inevitable. Meanwhile, I think a fight is brewing over towards that top rune spot inside the jungle where Lol has spotted some of those stacks and stolen out a few creeps, but finally, first kill up on the board for Na'Vi. Here. They, they see him. Flame breaking to trample. All of his illusions gonna die there, but good root on the primal beast stops him in his tracks. Zayat still trying to chase forward. Nodul with his haste rune and slaughter arriving will be able to get the pick off at long last. In the meantime, Ven's died down bottom. Oh, she gets soup. Getting charged by collapses. Timber saw TPing primal beast down here with the Venge as well. She gets to taken out for the chakra of collapse. But in comes the trade. A double kill for your mid laner. You said it's all about this primal beast from the mid lane of Mellow Jewel, and he's showing off why. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, hello, Poshka. Mid lane, Laurel and Mephoshka pairing up again. Thank you, Primal Beast. Need that additional bit of zap out of Mira's Fade Bolt. And now with a catch in from Laurel onto Zayat. Blood Grenade can help him out to take down the Bat Rider with a good stroke of fate. They just need another slice there. He really does. It might get Laurel. Ember Spirit running across the safety net is there. Mira's going to get pushed back into the Pulverize. Well done by Zayat and Melodule. Get the kill on the Rubik eventually with the damage over time, even needing the lasso in the end. I mean, something, something's got to be done about this. We can't, we can't have everyone buying Mage Slayer. Oh, here comes Lol with the Mage Slayer against the Slardo with the Mage Slayer. Good crush. But Ink Swell, Naposka's arrival, and the catch on Slardo will secure them a kill. Yeah, that right are dead though, and probably Beast trying to escape, soul bound up. Leash to the Vengeful Spirit. Lol, still thinking about the chase, gets the root down on the Veng. The swap across, gonna put her back in danger as the remnants out, give Lol safety and collapse. With Naposhka there to clean up. Ursa and Pro Beast back in though. Oh, look at that incredibly quick damage from the Ursa, but the Pro Beast went too deep. Lol playing the outskirts of this fight very well. Now maybe another potential catch on the Ursa Warrior. Lol could be careful because he's very low HP, just going for the poke and prod with a slight in the chains. And a Song of the Siren coming in onto this enraged Ursa. Is the Naga fast enough? Set up stun into follow up, into gap close. If you show on the map and these guys are nearby, you are very likely dead. Yatoro, though, is being found by a different trio. Oh, that stun dodge with a jump out, but Yatoro still dies. Also, can jump around from camp to camp a little bit faster. Oh, now Melodule onslaughting in two with a trample. And he's walked into three of spirit here. He wanted to clear creep wave and run away. He didn't expect them to be ready and waiting to spring that trap. Scouting with Ob's Ward and Illusions. Wave of Terror sees them all going through the Twin Gate. A couple went through, but they've got the catch on Malady. Vengeful Spirit now low into the back on Ursa. That's really nice. Deeper and deeper. Team Spirit will find a really good target. Your Scepter to stop the Enrage having too much effectiveness. And Shigetsu, uh, he's going to die twice here. What did you learn? Not a chance. Nice egg to take by Na'Vi, but the retreat. Not fast enough. Na'Vi kind of have to go like headless chickens blind into moves like this where they do jump the Ember Spirit. But the safety and protection is there from the Grimstroke. They need more stuns. Lol swapped across and they get the kill with the Ursa at long last. Here one mid and bottom lane, but that's all being covered by the Naga. She's cutting waves of illusions. Has collapsed. And plays into this Radiant Triangle again. Backed up by Maposhka. A lot of damage, but a good spot from Malady there. Back up arriving with Zayat and Shigetsu, taking out Mira. Rubik, a little too forward placed, but a good jump, slight chains. Amber Spirit here to kill off both supports. Two for one trade. And while you're making all this noise and chaos on this side of the map, Yatoro having a very chill, calm time elsewhere. Oh, he wanted in on that. 
backline stab from Mellow Jewel. Primal Beast is moving aggressively towards them. Eposhka does get Blink Crush. Timber Sword over the three man whirling death. Chakram on them, and Ember Spirit will rejoin. Yatoro, he says hello. BKB out from Shigets. Is there a blink or an earth shock to get to high ground? Oh, you're right. The Mage Slayers keep cancelling it out. You weren't kidding about this. <laughs> Three minutes until daytime, so it's going to be a night rush. Top tower Super top important tower. for Na'Vi to win this fight Radiant convincingly. But they've always, and Team Spirit have always got this big reset button with the Song of the Siren. Primal Beast already scouted. High ground vision there. You'll see the good stop button to hit that. Malady swap back the bat. Zayat's in difficult territory now as Malady will fall quickly. Blink crush from Slaughter. Looking into the back lines. Meposka getting crushed and bashed around by Nefret. Now the Song of the Siren, but the BKBs are up from Na'Vi. Giving them protection against the Naga Siren. Low HP on Yatoro, but gets the distance now. Allowing Collapse and Law to open up and get the damage done. Another Yules on his own, so just sending him skyward. Can't get a damn thing done as Nefret getting blasted by Collapse. The bash and the crush could stun, but not enough. Ursa's gone. Nefret chased down. Dominating streaks for Laurel and Collapse. That's aggressive. Collapse is so quick with that Yule Scepter, though. Now of your pop the illusion. Tries to run away from Yatra on his illusion. Lasso is there on the Rubik. Another Yule Scepter Skyward sends Mira. Song of the Sirens out Ursa. from Yatro. They're trying to catch up with this Ursa now as well. He's isolated, surrounded by illusions. Yatro getting pushed out by the Onslaught. Can they pulverize and get the Naga Sirens? She gets you slain by collapse. Mira will be a casualty here as Nefret finds it. But in comes the rest of Spirit. They can't stop his TP, it looks like. A two for one. Team Spirit one step closer to qualifying for Birmingham. Melodule, though, wanting to try and put an end to this. Gets in on top of Yatoro. Yule Scepter up after the sw it's Interesting, but Collapse has found the target in the back and blows him up. Shigetsu can't even grasp onto Rubik. He danced his way out of there, pirouetting out as Yatoro does lose the Aegis. Tried to get the song off in time, but Na'Vi are bleeding out. One by one, they're falling like flies. Nefret left stranded. Shigetsu, the only one alive. Slada does have a buyback, but at this point, is it even worth it? Yeah, they tried. The first game was very long. They were ahead for a little bit. were unable to save the model. The fountain diving! Well, that's the way of things. Yeah, very convincing victory.